Okay, so here we go. We're going to uh, power regression on your calculator. And fun stuff. Fun stuff indeed. So I'm. you're actually going to see me looking down as I punch it out on my calculator. There will be also a calculator on your screen to help you with this. Okay, so when you're doing this, um, only focus on the calculator that you need to pay attention to. Don't That's right. focus on the other one. That's right. There will be also, two choices. Also, the Inspire has like the, the screen and then it also has the keypad. Um, take a moment every now and then and pause and say and, and try to keep up with the steps. If you work through it with us, like you should be able to see where he's which buttons he's pressing as he's pressing them. So if you if you take it slow while he's working that out, uh, you should be able to keep up. Right. Right. Okay. So we want to use the info from the table to obtain a power function model for orbital period as a function of average distance from the sun. Uh, that sounds hard, but all it you're doing hard. is putting it in the calculator. So, what am I putting into the calculator? Huh? What am I putting in? Uh, orbital distance for X and period for Y? I would think so. That's what I think. Okay. So yeah, this is our, this is going to be our X's and these are going to be our Y's. Now on the 84, you start off by going to stat and then edit and you put these into a list and that's what should be going on. On the inspire, you have to go to list and spreadsheet. You have to create a new spreadsheet um, and, and insert this in and you have to put in an X at the top and a Y at the top on the inspire. And you can see all of that happening. Yeah, it's happening, but that's how you do it as well. So, and then you just have to type in. So. Give me one second, I'm almost done. Once you have it typed in, you go to stat and calculate for, for the 84 stat, calculate, and then we want a power regression. Yeah, yeah. There's so actually one regression. called a power regression. It's and, right there. Yeah, so you want to make sure that your X list is, is, uh, is A. Is it, is well, inspire. you can even be X on the inspire. Oh, okay. You can call them X and Y. For, for the 84, you shouldn't have an issue. It shouldn't be an issue it at all. fine. And uh, it should pull up and it should show you, uh, what does it show us? It shows it, it, it gives you uh, all the columns. And then and it says it's, it's A times X to the B. Right, and A in this case is going to be 0. 0.20008. And How many zeros? Three zeros. Three zeros. Okay. B is 1.49962. And then, and then if you'll notice, it gives you a couple of R values, an R squared value and an R value. All those tell you is exactly how close you are to a perfect fit. Right, and R squared is the one that would be more accurate. Um, yes. And so that R squared value is almost one, like it's super close to one, which means this is a really, really strong uh, representation of this data. Right, very strong. And so then once you have your equation, which we've got right here, it right. says use the model to predict the orbital period for Neptune. Hey, what's the orbital period for Neptune? Well. Four four nine seven gigameters. I think those are gigameters. Gigameters. I'm pretty sure right. I looked that up from last the year. sun. Because you know, so, G like uh, like yo G. Know. Yeah, gangster, thug life. Uh, but not really. Can I say that? Yes. Okay. 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 So, so we're are we plugging that in for plug, X? Plugging that in for X. Okay. And it's going to have the exponent of one point. Four nine nine six two. Now you may be like, uh, "Are you serious?" We have to write down all those decimals, but this is going to give us a much more accurate um, value than if we had rounded like one point four, one point five. You know that that's ridiculous. That's not going to look right. the same. What Typically, uh, for most of the things that we do in this course, you will want to round off at three decimal places. This is probably one of the few instances where the more decimal places we carry, the better off we are. How about on the answer? Do we want to go with three? Yeah, let's go with okay. three on the old so answer. Zero five one. Two. Yeah. Zero five one. Zero five one. Yes. Zero and five one. The period of the orbit, which is what we were finding, is this in? Uh, this is days. days. Yeah, days. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of days. So this problem starting off looks really painful. But it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so you bad at all. You had to do power regression um, in your in your calculator. And that's Corey, it. Please come to the freshman office. Cora Deal, please come to the freshman office.